This video covers file links, or flinks as we like to call it, found in PCMRP versions 8.63D and higher. Flinks allows PCMRP users to connect to unlimited number of files, doc, text, PDF, Excel, etc., located anywhere in their computer, anywhere in their network, or anywhere on the internet. To give you an example, I will click on Modules, Address Book, Edit, enter ABC, press the search button, and then press the OK button. I can then click on the Flinks button to open up the Flinks screen. I can click on the Add a New Link button to add a new link to a document related to this address. I can select Link to a File, Link to a Folder, and or Link to an Internet URL. I can add another link to this address by selecting Link to a File. I will then hit OK and return to my address screen. Now if I want to view or print one of my links, I simply click on the Flinks button again. I'll select the revised PO and press the Open button. From there I can display or print out the PO my customer sent me. I'll close that document button and click on the OK button and finally the Cancel button. And No, I do not want to enter another record. That brings me back to PCMRP's main menu. This time I'll click on Modules, Inventory, and Edit. I'll type in the description of the part number I'm searching for. Wheel Assembly, W-H-E-E-L space A-S-S-Y, and press the Search button and OK. Every PCMRP module contains a Flinks button, and the Inventory module is no exception. I'll click on the Flinks button. As you can see, there is a link to a PDF Traveler for this part number. Clicking on the Open button displays that part's generic traveler. Here I can view or print out that document. Clicking on the X box in the upper left corner closes the document. Once again, I can add infinite links to documents for this part number, such as drawings, specifications, etc. I will now return to PCMRP's main menu and show you a clever way to use these documents. I'll click on Modules. Stock Room, New, and Issue Parts to a Sales or Work Order. I'll issue the parts from stores. It gives me the next available stock transaction number. And yes, there is a sales or work order number. I'll select the sales order number for my wheel assemblies. I'll select Parts Only and press the OK button. And I'll press OK again. Now I can print out my pick list as on a prior versions of PCMRP. But notice now that I can print out labels and generic travelers for this assembly when the assembly is issued. I could have also printed out the drawing also for this assembly. This last trick does require a bit of code on yours or our part. If I select configuration about PCMRP give it some secret keystrokes and type in modifile m o d i f i l e c n let's see c n v s b o m dot e f you can see the code necessary to make pcmrp perform the prior trick if you are interested we'll transfer this code to your pcmrp directory or help you create some of your own code well i hope i've shown you how pcmrp can help manage your company